Huge shout out to Michael Ruiz from Fox for putting this pretty awesome article together. <laughs> Let's go. Hey everyone, me Kevin here. It has been a nonstop 14 hour day so far and I'm still going. Just finished about a 45 minute Instagram live interview. It was a total blast. Thank you so much to the Daily Caller. Folks, oh my gosh. Front page of foxnews.com is just about the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Folks. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice because I'm so excited. But folks, look at this, look at this, okay? Just just so you know, this is this is real, okay? Foxnews.com, do a little refresh here, okay? Foxnews.com, all right? All we do is we scroll down a little bit to right here, and there is a picture. <laughs> There's a picture of Gavin Newsom's face on a baby. <laughs> and it says, Newsom Challenger, that's me calls embattled governor a weenie baby. Post briefly censored from <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> okay, okay, let's click on it. Posted 17 minutes ago. Kevin Paffrath is a California real estate agent, social media personality known as a Meet Kevin. Uh, an outsider Californian is looking to run to replace Governor Gavin Newsom should the recall effort against him succeed uh, and says he had a post taken down by Instagram after he suggested the incumbent might be a weenie baby. <laughs> The uh, elementary school rank out generated tens of thousands of likes and hundreds of thousands of share or hundreds of shares, said uh, Kevin Pavroth, the California real estate agent, social media uh, personality known as me, Kevin. In the post, he declared his intent to run for governor, and it was his most successful Instagram message to date. This is true. I told Fox. There it is. Uh, and they, they included the embed here of the Facebook version, not the Instagram version. But then it went down, he said and received a notification claiming it violated Instagram's harassment guidelines. True story, we did a video about this yesterday. Those guidelines state that content cannot target private individuals to degrade or shame them, cannot include personal uh, information, and cannot, uh, you know, so on and so forth, uh, contain threats for the persons or whatever. Okay, uh, this is like three-year-old language here. I mean, weenie baby, Pafrat said in a YouTube video following deletion. Harassment and bullying? <laughs> oh, my lighting is so much better. <laughs> uh, hours after, fo and this is the crazy part, okay? So my post got deleted, and look at this. Like a, a, couple, a few hours ago, the post popped up again, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? Well, apparently, Fox News reached out to Instagram and Facebook, and then all of a sudden, the post reappears. So it's like, oh, so when when all of a sudden the media inquired, or bigger media inquired, it's like, oh yeah, let's put that post back up. Oh, look, I hate to be cynical, but remember there were big donations by Instagram, Facebook, to the Newsom campaign in 2020. Now, I, maybe things have changed, okay? Hopefully, I, let me make this clear. I like Facebook, and I love Instagram. Uh, Facebook's great, but I really love Instagram, okay? Love Instagram. And I know the people that work at Instagram are good people. I'm sure this was just, I hope this was just some mistake or, or misunderstanding, but it does look like based off uh, a, an anonymous report that I directly received from somebody who says they, they work uh, at uh, Instagram, uh, that, that this was removed by a person. Uh, not by any kind of automated means. So hopefully this was just some mistake. Uh, I really think that if Facebook and Instagram and the folks who work at Facebook and Instagram look at my 20 part plan by going to meetkevin.com and they see the tax reductions, the solving of homelessness within 60 days, the housing crisis, the traffic crisis, the schooling crisis, folks are gonna be pretty interested in my plan. Newsom, I think though, Maybe maybe Newsom had had a little bit of leverage here. I I don't know, but I, I imagine Newsom's not too happy because my plan is real and it's way better than his. But anyway, because he doesn't even have a plan. His his plan is let's throw some more money at the problem and let's let's just deal with homelessness over the next five years. Hello, it's an it's a state emergency. Declare a state of emergency and solve your problem. You have people dying on the street, and that's a five year plan for you. Hours after Fox News inquired about the missing post, a spokesperson for Facebook, which owns Instagram, said it had been removed erroneously. 
and it was restored once the error became apparent. It was visible on Pafrat's feed as of Wednesday evening. True, it is back. An identical post on his Facebook page has not been taken down. Very true. This is also true. I did post them. I'm pretty sure I remember posting them separately, though. Uh, so they weren't like tied together where it's like, oh, post on both. Initially, Pafrat said he suspected the social media giants donations of 30, over $30 million to Newsom in 2020 played a role in the removal of his post. But the California based Facebook noted those funds went to coronavirus relief for healthcare workers and small businesses and not to the governor's campaign coffers. Okay, loophole here. Let's get the story straight and, and Google this. Okay, fact check me, Google this. Let me know in the comments. But based on the research we did, Facebook and Zuck made the donation to frontline workers, quote, on behalf of Gavin Newsom. So it's kind of like the money never touched Newsom's accounts but went to people on behalf of Newsom. It's kind of like, but for Newsom, <laughs> you know? It's, 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 it's a little shady, okay? That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay, uh, so what do we got here? Uh, this was part of a broader pandemic relief support, both nationally and around the world, which included free ads for health authorities to get accurate information to people and grants a Facebook company spokesperson said. Mm -hmm. Newsom's office declined to, <laughs> they reached out to Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Hey, Gavin, what do you think about being called a uh, weenie baby? Uh, no comment. <laughs> so you are a weenie baby. When told the post had been reactivated, uh, Pafroth expressed surprise and said he had not been notified. Fact. I went through all my notifications. I did not see it. Uh, they called me. Well, I, I, we talked on the phone. As soon as the truth gets out, things clean up, he said. And that's pretty much the theme of what I want to do as governor as well. Everything will be trans... Well, I mean, this is a little... This quote doesn't read perfectly. The, the, the idea is you want to get the truth out there, right? Because my goal as governor is that everything will be transparent through social media and YouTube. We're already doing behind the scenes vlogs on our channel about what we're doing and what our plans are. Uh, so that way, the shady, stuff's, uh, the shady stuff gets cleaned up because, hey, when you put stuff out there, all of a sudden things happen to get fixed. That's what California needs. We need no more backroom deals with Newsom and lobbyists. We need stuff cleaned up. And we need people to stop dying on our streets. I think the fifth largest economy would be able to handle that. All right, then Pafrath accused Newsom of failing to behave as a leader as the state faces ongoing crises in homelessness, housing, transportation, education. Yes. As rules and regulations get tighter and rents and taxes climb, workers and businesses alike are leaving the Golden State in unprecedented numbers, he said. He referenced the exodus in his gubernatorial announcement. I'm not effing leaving, I'm running instead. Haha, <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> uh, we've been talking about leaving for the last three years. True story. If you look at my I'm over it tour that Lauren and I were doing like 1819, we travel to states like Florida, Washington, Texas, Nashville, <laughs> all, all states with way less of this, you know, Nevada, right? But anyway, and it's always been a serious consideration because it's impossible to do business here. Bingo. In his real estate business, for example, he said he was stuck sitting on 12, unit, uh, 12 vacant units for months upon months amid the statewide housing crisis because of bureaucratic red tape. <laughs> Supposed to get approval within 60 days, they want six months. The government feels like this cancer you can't get rid of, he said. And the sad thing is the cancer doesn't even like itself. The people working, the teachers, the people working for unions, the people working in building and safety departments, they're miserable too because they don't want to work with miserable people, making other people's lives miserable. This is true. We want to, imp this is what I want to do. We want to empower people. You don't want to be miserable making people's lives miserable. You want to make a difference. There is no teacher who wants to see a student fail. There is no bureaucrat who wants, at least I believe, there is no bureaucrat. And maybe I'm too optimistic, okay? But I believe it. I believe that there's no one in a union or building and safety department that wants to see people fail. Their hands are tied. It's not their fault. It's Gavin Newsom's fault. He's the boss and he's failing. So you get fired. It's that simple. The CEO's gotta go. Oh, there you go. That's our line. The CEO's gotta go. <laughs> Let me know what you think about that one down below. 
The latest social media tussle with Newsom comes months after his state was revealed to have used influence to suppress certain speech surrounding the 2020 election. Oh, oh, it's happened before. That program affected the conservative group Judicial Watch as well as the nonprofit newsroom that brought it to light. For Pafrath, resuscitating California requires getting rid of Newsom. Bing freaking go. Newsom's got to go. He said, you've got to have some extreme action to try to streamline the progress of this state. When told that millions of voters may not seek rolling back stringent regulations as extreme, he laughed. It's common sense, he said, but unfortunately, common sense has been associated with extreme in California. Okay, so let's clarify this a little bit. Basically, the interviewer said, hey, you know, I don't know, Kevin, maybe your action's not that extreme. Maybe people will find uh, rolling back, uh, you know, stringent regulations as, as a good thing. And I laugh because I'm like, yeah, or duh. Like it's common sense to roll back these regulations. But unfortunately, common sense solutions in California are deemed extreme because the politicians and people like Gavin Newsom want to make sure that they get their payoffs. Now, look, I don't have any inside information about whether or not Gavin Newsom's getting paid off or his friends are uh, making more money because of his candidacy or whatever. But look, although then again, there are reports that he made a lot more money while he was governor in 2020, despite restaurant and winery lockdowns. Maybe that's because he didn't follow his own rules. I don't know. I guess we won't go there. But the point is, folks, look around. Do you want California to continue to degrade this way? Or do you want California to improve? If you want to see California improve and you're in a different state, also consider donating to my campaign. Go to meetkevin.com slash donate. I have a lot of people donating from Texas, Florida, uh, Nevada, Arizona. Why? Because people want to send the Californians back. That's not a bad thing. Californians don't want to have to leave. They don't want their state to be bad. They don't want their state to be what it is now. Their state has become a disaster. We've got to solve that. California is better than this. So it makes sense that people are voting with their feet, but I want people to have the opportunity to stay if they want. And I got to create the California that attracts people, not repels people. Check out the campaign. Go to meetkevin.com to learn more. Meetkevin.com slash donate to donate to the campaign. Thank you so much for watching it, folks. See you in the next one.